What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So earlier today, we saw some posts made on social media by undefeated three division world champion, five time world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely acknowledged as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing in Javante Tank Davis. Javante Tank Davis is 29 wins, no loss, no draw, 27 wins by way of knockout. He is 29 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm reach. Javante Tank Davis, he responded to Saudi Arabia, his excellence, Tur Turkey al -Ashik, who is putting on big fights in Saudi Arabia and putting out big money for these fighters to stage the fights that he want to see in Saudi Arabia as he is um, says he was suffering from some illnesses uh, recent years and he's a massive fan of the sport of boxing and his favorite fighters is Larry uh, um, Larry Holmes and Roberto Duran and he's tired of not seeing the best fight the best so he has the funds he has the money he has the resources and he has the land to build arenas to have the fights state of the art arenas and he has the funds to pay massive overpay actually massive amounts of money to the fighters to stage the fights that the big fights that the fans want to see to which he stated he was very interested in bringing Javante Tank Davis to Saudi Arabia and he wants to stage which is the biggest fight in the sport of boxing between Javante Tank Davis and his biggest nemesis his biggest rival undefeated two division world champion former undisputed lightweight world champion now reigning WBC junior welterweight world champion superstar boxer who is top 10 pound for pound best fighters in the world and Devin the Dream Haney. Devin the Dream Haney is 31 wins, no losses, no draw, 15 wins by way of knockout, 25 years of age, five foot nine with a 72 inch arm reach. With that said, Javante Tank Davis, he responded to his excellency um, stating that he was willing to pay big money and still willing to pay big money to bring Javante Tank Davis to Saudi Arabia to stage fights in Saudi Arabia. And he's behind Devin Haney 100%. And he wants to bring Devin Haney to Saudi Arabia. Javante Tank Davis responded and he stated that uh, he wasn't happy. They made him mad. And uh, in order for him to go to Saudi Arabia, because he's the one in power, he's in position of power. So in order for him to go to Saudi Arabia, they're going to have to give him something, entice him, right? Then he stated, they're gonna have to deliver two Ferraris to my front door if they want me to go to Saudi Arabia and fight Devin Haney, right? Well, guess what? Father trainer manager, DHB, Devin Haney promotion, CEO, Bill Haney. And Devin Haney, they respond by saying, if that's what it's gonna take to get you to negotiate a fight so we can stage this fight, between the two of us, well, His Excellency don't have to provide you with those uh, perks. We'll provide you the, the two Ferraris. We'll have the two Ferraris delivered to your house ASAP. If that's what it's going to take to um, begin the negotiations for this fight, right? So, again, you know, the people are going to say uh, Bill Haney was bluffing. Uh, the people, because here's the thing, right? Uh, fans in the sport of boxing don't like to hold their favorite fighters accountable. They like to point the finger, right? They like to deflect and detract from the truth. They don't like the truth. They like to live in fantasy land where elephants fly. That's where, that's where they like to reside. And so by Bill Haney coming out and Bill Haney speaking on behalf of obviously his son, Devin Haney, and saying, listen, if that's what it's gonna to take to negotiate, to begin negotiations, to get a deal done, 
for us to stage this fight, then we'll have we'll deliver you the two Ferraris ourselves. You ain't got to go to His Excellency, and we ain't got to bother him with minor things, right? Because contrary to popular belief, none of these promoters here in in none of these promoters in boxing have the money that he has. His Excellency, none of them. None of these promoters fund their own fights. The networks fund their fights. He's funding it himself. And is doing deals and partnerships with the networks, right? To um, be able to showcase the fights. But His Excellency has more money than any one of them by far. Right, so he's looking to pay Javante Tank Davis a guaranteed purse worth more than any purse he's ever received in his entire career to stage this fight, which is the biggest fight in Boston. And Javante Tank Davis is on record saying that it's not about legacy, it's not about belts, it's about money. As we know, Leonard Ellaby, Mayweather Promotion CEO, he stated that we rather be on the Forbes list than the pound for pound list. Well, to be on the Forbes list means you're making the money, right? And so they have done a fantastic, magnificent job with Javante Tank Davis's career, 1000%. He is no doubt. He did his marquee fight, his last fight, Ryan Garcia. It did 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. It did the fifth highest gate in Las Vegas boxing history, a $23 million gate. And it saw Javante Tank Davis reportedly take home over $30 million. Right? So, no doubt, he's successful in that area. Uh, he did record-breaking gates at the Barclays Center. He holds the record $5 million gate at the Barclays Center. And he holds the, the, the record for the gate at Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C. with a $5.2 million gate. So no doubt he's a sell. No doubt he's a draw. It's just time to see the best fight the best. Period. And if you, uh, if you are concerned with the finances, well, His Excellency has the finances. What more do you want? You get to satisfy two birds with one stone. Right. Your 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 plan is to, as Javante Tank Davis stated. His plan is to face off against three fighters he have on his checklist. Devin Haney, Olympic two-time gold medalist, three-division world champion, former unified lightweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer, Vasily Hitek Lomachenko, who has 17 wins, three losses, no draw, 11 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, 5'6", with a 66-inch arm reach, and also undefeated three-division world champion, former unified super featherweight world champion, now the reigning WBC lightweight world champion, Olympic silver medalist, Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson is 21 wins, no loss, no draw, 10 wins by way of knockout. He is 5 foot 8 with a 68 inch arm reach at 26 years of age. And the other fighter is Devin Haney. So now you're going to get the money that you're looking for and the fighter that you're looking for. All in one. And let's not talk about locations because the two most popular fights in boxing history, in boxing history, are nicknamed the Thriller in Manila. Keyword, Manila. The Thriller in Manila and the Rumble in the Jungle, made famous by Muhammad Ali, George Foreman and Joe Frazier. The Thriller in Manila with, George Fra with Joe Frazier and the Rumble in the Jungle with George Foreman. Right? And guess what? Neither one of those was on U.S. soil. And those are the two biggest, most recognizable nickname fights in history of sport of boxing. Made famous by the late, great, legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar, Muhammad Ali, formerly known as Cassius Clay. 
So let's not talk about the fight having to be on U.S. soil. It needs to be in Las Vegas. No, it don't need to be in Las Vegas. Everybody can identify the rumble in the jungle and the thriller in Manila. Again, neither one of those. Muhammad Ali's two biggest fights of his career, the two biggest uh, recognizable fights of his career are um, those two fights and neither one of them are on U.S. soil. Point blank and period. And so now they're saying if this is what it takes to begin the negotiations to get a deal done, we'll deliver you the Ferraris ourselves. But I know y'all going to say they capped it. Just like when Bill told you guys that and uh, Matchroom CEO uh, and promoter Eddie Hearn stated that they had $20 million to offer Javante Tank Davis. And y'all said that that was capped. That offer wasn't real. And now his excellence come out. His excellency comes out and states that it is indeed real. And he wants to make it happen sooner rather than later because his health uh, has, if, it, if, if, nothing, if he's learned nothing, he learned that time is, is not on his side or on any of our side. So he wants to get it done ASAP, period. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. Oh, my word. So, all I got for y'all, I'm going. Peace.